Hello there, Adam once again, and welcome back to my channel, AJK Aquaria. This video is on the popular red zebra cichlid. Uh, I found out that it's not so popular in my area. Um, I did move on my group of breeders uh, earlier this spring. Uh, some of the photos which you are about to see in this video. Um, before doing so, I did strip a lone female, and I did have these fry up for sale. Uh, once they were around about an inch and a half or so. Uh, I wasn't really able to sell anything other than a couple of evident males early on. And uh, I wasn't really planning on keeping them either. Uh, at this point I'm thinking otherwise. Um, kind of a father like son scenario. In a sense, uh, my original dominant male was gorgeous. And uh, I regret getting rid of him. Uh, his son is looking quite the part of his old man and I'm hoping that he eventually adopts the ghostly white that his father did have but that will certainly depend on his position in this environment and his tank mates and whatnot. Uh, the typical metrically estere at Minos Reef isn't what you see in the hobby today whatsoever. Uh, males are a almost solid blue and females are a brown to beige color. There are however of course the red orange females and the OB females as well. Uh, an OB male is extremely rare in the wild. Uh, the Omorphic group, which is the fish that I'm working with, is where the males are a very peachy color and almost a white when they're showing off their stuff. Uh, this Omorph group, uh, these males were used with the red orange females to produce you know, the fish that uh, everyone knows now today in the hobby is the red zebra. Um, they're often sold as the uh, species cherry red. Um, whether a pure red orange male really does exist in Lake Malawi is uncertain. Um, it'd be very difficult to distinguish between male and female as uh, red orange between both sexes would be tough to tell. Uh, this raised group I'm working with is still very young and they're only around like the three inch mark or so uh, slightly under I'd say for the most part um, I was really reluctant to show any photos or footage of this tank whatsoever before some growth or algae had taken place as a uh, you know, I just set it up right before Christmas uh, if you've seen any of my videos you probably know that I like to set them up as natural as possible and uh, this tank right now isn't looking so much natural. Uh, before I show the footage here, uh, someone recently uploaded a video to YouTube with some mature and gorgeous female red zebra. Uh, I met this guy in a forum quite a while back. He, at the time, posted a few videos and I was really impressed with the quality and the attention to detail that he had. Um, so I reached out to him and just concerning cameras, filming, and fish in general and whatnot. Uh, he was incredibly helpful and I doubt I'd be making any videos if he hadn't you know, given me the help and encouraged me to do so in the first place. Uh, I am very grateful as I do enjoy photography, filming, art, and anything that keeps this hobby fresh. Uh, I know him as Marconi on the forum but his YouTube handle is Mbuna Marcus. Uh, I'll leave a link to his Red Zebra video in the description. Um, so thank you Marcus, uh, much appreciated friend. Uh, so here's the video. Uh, I did mess with the exposure right beforehand and it does make the female a bit washed out looking. Uh, overall I am happy with it. This is the uh, second female he did spawn with that day and he's looking quite dapper. Hope you enjoy. 